Shao Tan to be fashion. It has to be tasteful. And then we have our Taiwanese um, culture and design. It has to be like Taiwan. It has to be Taiwan. Shao Tan is not just product. We want to um, sell our service. So like you know, like Japanese, they give up their service. We want to like follow that tradition. So we want to have like give up great service and have a great product. So people like to like Chao Tan. In 2005, we worked there already a lot of milk tea brands. So how did you want to set out to make that sort of different? When we started this brand, we didn't want to just like um, narrow it just for Taiwan logo. We want to um, spread and send it to international. So we um, make bubble tea like in, in like an international product, international drink. Oh, no. 我知道说，在做国际化当中，在所有的标准化是很重要的，所以我们很特别强调我们有一个科技差异，就是用机器去做它，很多在操作的过程用机器去取代它。So in order to standardize, we have we invent this like technology brewing um, machine. We use that to brew all the tea, so everything will be standardized. So yeah, so it will be easier to go international. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who was the first one to use like technology? You say Taiwan, most of the like there's a lot of bubble um, brand in Taiwan, but they still use the traditional way. They still like um, brew the tea by human. Like they don't use machine to brew the tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the traditional way that we make our tea is not good. It's 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 not good. 所以可能是在操作過程受傷 So like, if you do like human way like to brew the tea there's like two things you can't control like the quality will be different will be varied by like people and then the second thing like it will be more dangerous because like you have to handle like the hot water and everything but if you do machine, machine will do everything you don't need to uh, deal with all the dangerous issues so like our tea is different from other countries like you know like Thailand they have Thai tea and then Hong Kong they have like the Great Han and then, but Taiwan we we keep the original milk tea but we add bubble in it. So this is like something different, like something from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. We use our own milk tea powder and then we use like our special brown sugar. So our our taste our milk tea is, our milk tea taste is a little bit stronger and like richer, will be different from other brands. Our product is different from 10 years ago. It's like 10 years ago, they mostly use powder. Mm -hmm. But right now, we use fresh tea to brew like all the tea. Fresh tea. This concept, like we have fresh tea, and then we mix with fresh juice, and then we have this um, combination, and then this like represent healthy, and then we'll serve for your thirst. Um, you will only want tea for like probably like around like twice a week, or maybe like three times a week. But right now, we want to have this product. It's like good for you every day. You can have it every day, like maybe like every meal, like yeah. every time you want it. It's like you serve for you. Every day? Every day. <laughs> Why did you say yes to the Philippines? So like bubble or bubble tea is not just a drink. We want to make it like 
uh, dessert. So we add topping in there. We have pearl in there, we have coconut jelly, we have all the topping in there. So we want to make we want to make it not like just like a drink, but also as a dessert. And then we know like all the Filipinos eat a lot of uh, sweet stuff. So <laughs> we know of course the market is really true. big. Choose the Koa family in particular as your partner in the Philippines. <laughs>跟粉絲們說,我想是一個很好的趴的,我們在很多國家在採取我們的一個巴士的時候,就一起想第一個服務的一個太陽。第二個,他們自己做成行動,做分享他們都有經驗。第三個就是他們有他們的team,我覺得
bubble here too. That's a pretty good question. We will do some localized adjustment. Like maybe like we start from mango, strawberry, like those easy to accept um, drinks. But afterward, we still want to focus back to our bubble milk tea. Okay. Yeah. So we have different products, like let them to know the brand, know the store, know our product. But after all, we still want them to know like our Taiwanese drink, like the bubble milk tea. We target like the young um, popularity, like 25 to 30, is because we want to educate them first. Like, you know, like he gave us, um, Mr. Wong gave an example, like saying like McDonald's. McDonald first into Taiwan, and like he's probably like age of 10. Like before that, he never know what's hamburger. But he started eating since 10, and right now he knows that like, what is hamburger. So we want to do the same thing. Like we want to target like the young popularity, so they know the product. So um, this business can like be continuously like. Now even like when they turn 30, 40, they still know the product, and then like will be continuous. So it's like you're building a habit. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> chat time in Chinese is means sunrise. So like he has, uh, Mr. Wong has a goal saying like, oh he wears like future like every place that has sunrise will have it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like the tea lover. I love all the tea, like the basic tea. So like the Oreo pop series, like the tea guan yin, latte, like all the tea, like he likes the stronger tea flavored drinks. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like what? Like uh, the tea guan yin, latte. Ah, the tea guan yin. Yeah. I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> The stores, why did you choose the color purple? Purple, purple, purple yeah. Favorite. <laughs> 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 that is his favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your background before you started the like, car? Uh, 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 like, you have like a technology background, so that's why, like, you know, like Taiwan's really famous from the IT industry, right? So, like, so. That's how you get the concept. Like, if one go international, then everything has to be standardized. Everything has to go with technology. So that's why, like, we have this goal to have like create international brand. So everything has to be like SOP. Everything has to be standardized. And this is how we start this brand. Sales were at the end of 2011. <laughs> and how many stores at, at the end of? 2011. Yeah. Okay. 580-something like store. Like in Taiwan, we're not the number one. We're probably like the top five. Mm -hmm. But internationally, we're like number one. Taiwan has a great In Taiwan, there's another brand called like Qin Qi. He's like more focused on the tea. Like he just have tea. But we're like focused more on bubble milk tea. So it's like a little bit different. But like in like the beverage industry, we're like probably top five. What, what, what's the strategy on the food? Taiwan uh, market is like probably tea will go best with frying, frying stuff. Taiwan mm -hmm. so, <laughs> <laughs> we sell some frying stuff like fried chicken, like the Christmas chicken, and then like fried fry squid balls and something like that, fried tofu. Fried tofu. <laughs> yeah. But like um, this is what we have in Taiwan, but we'll probably go have the strategy like go international. But have the R and D department working on this, but like um, we'll it will also based on the country culture. So we'll do like different strategy, we'll do some adjustment on it. Yes, we're working on it right now. Innovation or achievement are you proudest of? Um, our taro pada. We say that like, that's really made of fresh taro and we dry it and we like powder it. So so we really it, so the drink is really made from fresh taro. What is the drinking? What are the drinking habits of most Taiwanese do people? Do people usually drink it in the morning, going to work, is it <coughs> during lunch? Is it an everyday thing? Do people drink it after school? Um, just to get a sense of uh, people's drinking habits and drinking patterns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.